Hey, how's it going? Well, I gotta say, I get very annoyed with the compression ratio on YouTube. It's the biggest reason why I don't do more nature walk videos. The compression ratio just makes them look like shit. It makes it look as if I don't have a good camera. I mean, when the compression ratio is that bad, it's hard to tell the difference between something from this kind of a camera and a smartphone. They, they look the same because you got all this fucking, all the squares and the blurry. Uh, you, you, the more tiny details, like leaves, small leaves or gravel or things like that, that it has to keep track of that's moving, the more you're going to see it. So, like for instance, when there's my, people were mentioning, when I, when I first started making some more videos where it's, the camera's pointed at me, but I'm walking through nature, um, and, the, and the background is blurry, people are saying, wow, did you get a new camera? Did you, did you, and it, lots of people were asking because it actually looked good. The reason it looked good is because, well, there's no longer barely anything that has a lot of high detail that's changing. It's just my face. So it's more like what this video is with a black background. It doesn't, you know, there's not that much it has to do. See, what, how the, that comp the compression works is it tries to take anything that looks the same and keep it the same and only have to, to modify the things that change. And it's always trying to keep track of that all the time while it's, while it's you know, uh, it's, it's trying to keep track of that all the time. And so when there's nothing for it to be able to do that to, you'll see these little areas that if you look closely while, the, while it's animating, you'll see these little spots that remain the same for a moment and then change. And that's how that works. And that's why it looks like you see these squares, these squares of areas that don't change much. So anyway, that's one of the main reasons why I don't upload very many of the nature videos. Now, if you're, you're saying, well, the ones that you're, maybe you've noticed or maybe you haven't noticed, but the ones where I'm going through a city, I'm walking you know, around a neighborhood or something like that, there aren't nearly as many little bitty things that are constantly moving that it has to keep track of. It's, it's, uh, it's more generic shapes. You know, you got buildings that have, you know, when, and when you've got just generic shapes, it, it's able to handle that a lot easier. So, um, I should make some more videos walking through cities and such and going to more places. I, I need to get out of the house a lot more in general, but, uh, but yeah, that's one of the main reasons I haven't uploaded that many of the, the nature videos. They just end up looking like shit. Like the ones in the Redwoods looked all right when I was in down in California. The ones in the Redwoods looked all right because most of it was, was the, uh, the up and down and some detail on all the, uh, all the trunks of the trees. Um, you didn't have a bunch of leaves everywhere. You know, so it was able to handle that all right. Um, now Vimeo, Vimeo, I could upload stuff and it would look substantially better, but you have to pay to to upload to them. It's like it's like twelve or thirteen bucks, and then a month, and then if you stop paying them, they delete your videos. I think, they, I think you can have a total of five gigs on their servers for free and, and anything past that, if you're not paying them, will be deleted. So, you know. Um, but take note of, of uh, especially like GoPro videos, because there's even more things, because they, they the way the lens is, there's even more change that's on the screen. So the footage from a lot of the GoPro cameras end up looking like shit, even though maybe when they were, I, I don't know if the compression ratio is bad on those or not. I don't know what it is, but the original files might have actually looked pretty decent, depending on the compression ratio. I mean, if it's like up to 20 or something like that, you know, at least up to 20, then it should look okay. Now mine, mine does 50 um, as the original. The files are just huge. They're just ridiculously huge. Um, 
but uh, yeah, I usually, uh, on my nature videos, I usually will upload those anywhere between, it'll be, the original will be 15 to 20. And when it ends up coming to look like, it looks like four. Four or five or something. I'm just like, oh, that's terrible. Anyway. Um, maybe I've made sense, maybe I haven't, but I just thought I'd talk about it because it was on my mind. 